temperate deciduous biome in the middle of Whoop Whoop. Come with us to explore this exciting biome. Today we're going to learn about endangered species, abiotic and biotic components. So come along. different habitats for the different animals in all four seasons. Summer, winter, fall, spring. The summers can get as hot as 30 degrees Ooh. and the winters as low as negative 30. Ooh. Don't forget about the lakes that moderate the temperature. The Great Lakes, Lake Huron, Lake Superior, Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. Right! Yeah! Let's go find those suckers! <laughs> Humans have a very big influence over the environment. Take this stream here, for example. Well, what used to be a stream, of course. This stream used to feed thousands of animals with fresh water daily. But now, because of global warming, it's all been dried up. So now all the families of animals can't get the fresh drinking water because this is one of the main streams of drinking water. It caused a dramatic change in the ecosystem. Ugh. I don't, I don't even want to. So we have Catherine here and we decided to ask her what she thinks about global warming. Do you think it's affecting the temperate deciduous biome? Um, I definitely think that there's an effect um, worldwide. It's a major concern. And I definitely think that um, I definitely think that our government needs to be concerned about it and uh, needs to spend some more money to investigate um, the various issues and I think probably uh, more so the states um, and maybe spend a little bit more money on that and a little bit less on other items. Like war. Like war and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bald eagle. <gasps> Follow it up into that tree. Did you know that the bald eagle has been endangered for extinction for about 25 years now? It is endangered because of habitat destruction, degradation, illegal shootings, and contamination of food source by mainly pesticides that we humans put in the food. They are protected but thank goodness they are protected by the Endangered Species Act of 1973. Hello there, mate. I've tried to go looking for a grey fox, but it might be difficult seeing how they're endangered in these parts. Overhunting caused the number of these little critters to significantly drop in the last 10 years. But don't worry, the province of Ontario has set up breeding facilities to help them out a little bit. I'm just trying to make my way through this. I don't know where I am. I... But I'm trying to look for bobcats, but that's not really going to happen because they're really endangered. It says here that. They've been endangered since the 1800s because they used to cut down the forest. So in New Jersey, they brought 24 bobcats from Massachusetts to, re to regain the population. But um, 
it didn't really work because people started to hunt them again. So now they're on the Endangered Species List Act so that they can't be hunted or kept as pets or anything. I'm just going to keep looking for my bobcats now. <laughs> Trying to find the stinkwell turtle. According to my map, they should be around here somewhere. But it's most likely I'm not going to find them since they're nocturnal. And they've been endangered since May 2002. The reason for their loss is because of urbanization and global warming drying up all the ponds. Plus, they can only live in a specific habitat, so it's really hard for them to find a place to live. Oh well, I guess I'll keep looking. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the no. Oh yeah, the stink pot was so cool. I'm on a quest to find the mountain lion. We wouldn't want to scare them away. Mountain lions have been hunted to almost extinction in the eastern U.S. They are protected by the endangered act species. I'm going to see if I can find 